It's almost here. <laughs> I've been smiling for a long time. I know you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to be flying into the mountains. Both Denise and I have a sheep tag and the goal is to fill both tags on this hunt. Sounds like a good plan to me. This is <laughs> like Christmas for a five-year-old for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is the time of year I live for. Uh, we're going to go in the mountains two days early. We're going to try to get into the heart of it so we're in a good position come opening morning. And we're just going to uh, have fun, we're going to work hard, and we'll see what we can turn up in the mountains. That's ultimately what we're looking for. Are you flying or me? Uh, I'll let you fly this time. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Denise is going to shoot first, if that's the opportunity. The bigger one? Absolutely. You want the older one or the bigger one? The older, bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first glimpse at the Sheep Mountains this season. And being a few days ahead of season is uh, it's just an amazing feeling to be out here again and looking for sheep. And man, it's gonna be a lot of hard miles. <laughs> There's no doubt about that, but right now it's just, this is amazing. A little bit of hiking in this morning. Stopped to glass the side of the mountain where I saw a sheep this morning. I can't pick them up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stay on the game trail. We have to get over here to the east and in order to do that we do have to get down into it to get over there so that's the plan. It's gonna be a warm day, abnormally warm for the Yukon this time of year so we're just gonna have to power through it. That breeze is sure nice eh? Yeah it keeps some of the mosquitoes away at least. Once we get up on that ridge I think it'll be more than just a breeze. <laughs> It's been so long and waiting to hit the mountains for sheep. You know, the season ends and you just can't wait to get back out in the mountains. And then always the first sheep hunt is just like this overwhelming feeling of this is just the right place to be on the planet. You know, we have to make a decision. Like, do we want to camp in this, the call here, or stay out of sight, camp here? Like, anything that comes over this hill is going to have us. We're too close. Yeah. So Greg's gone up high to look for a better place to camp because it's hard to find a flat spot here. Maybe we'll go back down a little bit, but we'd prefer to be up a little bit higher. Yep, he's saying, come on up higher, giving us the word. This is about as flat a spot as we're going to get. Pretty beauty. Well, look how green and lush this is. Yeah, it's beautiful. See the sheep trails going across this, that scree there? And there's a, a snow patch down here and there's sheep trails all through it, so. What more could you ask for? We're in the right spot. Might want to peg it down tonight. <laughs> Shall we? We can find something. Shall we hit the top? Okay. So sheep season starts in two days. Denise and I, the game plan is for us to take rams on this hunt. And we're lucky to have a good friend, Rob Spinks. Rob's a longtime Yukoner, born and raised. He's uh, been pounding around the mountains chasing sheep for his whole life. Rob and I have spent a lot of time together over the last number of months, just pouring over maps, talking about, you know, logistics, you know, where to go, kind of what sheep hunters do in the off season. You've been hunting pretty much your whole life. And when was your first sheep hunt? My first sheep hunt was when I was 10 years old, I think, with my dad, it was just the two of us. And you took your first ram? My first ram was at 14 with both my parents there and my mom shot a sheep the same day. This is what hunting is about, right? And when you get out at 14 years old, you and your mom get to kill rams together. Those are what dreams are made of right that there. That was a lot of fun. We did the same thing. We were out a couple days early, found the sheep early, and opening morning made it work. So your dad taught you well then? That's where I got that from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's not many 14 year olds that have rams notched on their belt. I can tell you that. I certainly didn't. And you're still as passionate about it as probably you were then. Maybe more so. More so. <laughs> yeah. 
to be in the hills that long and still love it the way you do, that's impressive. That is why I live here. Yeah. It's definitely for the sheep hunting. So we're gonna slowly make our way into the top of the next peak. Just kind of pick it apart 100 meters at a time because the last thing you want to do is come up on top of a good ram and you're two days away from opening season. That's the last thing we want to do. Come up to the top of this peak. We're just trying to work our way along this ridge all the way out to the end, but there's a young ram sitting right up on the grass, bedded down. So the only way to keep moving is to bump him and hopefully he's alone. <laughs> And there's not other rams on just out of sight where we can't see him because he's in the rocks. It's better to move him along two days before the season starts than it is opening day when you're trying to get moved toward bigger sheep. I'm gonna get, hopefully, get him up and get him moving slowly, not blowing out of the country. There he's standing now. slowly walk away. He thinks we're sheep. <laughs> oh, there he goes. He's gone. It's kind of a really bittersweet type situation. We just saw one young ram bedded down by itself. We wanted to continue on and in classic form in the moving that sheep, there's five others with them. Fortunately, the big ram was leading the group away, which is exactly what you want. And they were just walking. So we just have to make sure that they don't sneak by us because there's at least two good rams in there and who knows what we can't see over further. Not ideal. Not the ideal scenario. <laughs> Did you get a look at, at them? We got a look at them. There's two really good sheep in there. Okay. We don't want to just keep pushing them that way. No, we're, we're not going any further today. That's the problem with being out here too early. <laughs> get too excited. Well, this is the only water source we have, so we're going to want to get quite a lot, right? Yep. We know that they're kind of isolated to the east and we're just gonna come back up the same spot tomorrow morning and see if we can pick them up, see if they've moved out onto the plateau a little bit more. It should be lots, eh? Yeah, it's still a waiting game. We know that we don't wanna push them anymore. Just by bumping them today was not ideal, but at least we know that there's good rams here and now we just have to figure out the best way to get at them. It's a bit of a sheep trail through here. Not super defined, but it's here. So last night we walked off the mountain and figuring that we we're gonna be going back exact same way because those rams, they moved off to the east, which is in the opposite direction to where camp was. Woke up this morning and grabbed the binos first thing as always and just take a look around and picked up that young ram and then a number of other rams on the ridge line and the skyline and there's a, a big broomed off ram on the skyline right now so he's in direct sight of our camp so everything we do right now it's got to be dialed in and we cannot get busted and hope that they don't come any closer right now i kind of feel a little bit stuck here um, we were going to camp up high, which would have been interesting to see uh, what would have happened had we camped up there. So I think we're just going to hang out here and see what we see and then probably go up early in the morning because we don't want to spook them again like we did yesterday. So the plan seems to change around here quickly, so anything could happen. Basically what has happened is all the rams we saw on the ridge behind me, they got up, started feeding and working their way up the ridge and now they've just kind of moved over on the other side out of sight. We've been sitting in this spot all day. Now it's time to move. We believe that all the sheep are on that side. Now we're gonna head up to the top of the mountain and cut across and we're gonna find ourselves a place to hunker down for the night, whether we can get tents up or not, we don't know. We'll sleep in the rocks tonight if we have to. But what we wanna do is get over there and get up high into a place where we know that the sheep are not gonna go tonight. 
best laid plans. I know how it works, so that's the plan right now, but we do need to get up high so that we're in a striking distance of what we do know are some good ramps.